Hello everybody. I was told to make a more introductionary entrance so I did a more dramatic introduction to my videos. And uh well there it is. It's over nine thousand Now that is one big pile of shit. We build the most basic ride at the beginning of the most basic level. I always start these levels and then I don't actually look at what I'm supposed to do. This is easier than the last level, what this isn't even an objective. At least there's no trees in this level. So it should be a little easier. Waste of money building these. I need steel roller coaster ASAP if I don't already have it. Hey, there's no grass, that means I can just uh, hire people and don't have to worry about mowing the lawn. As you can see. Yeah, this is an easy flat level actually. It's only the park that's actually not grassy as well. It's all grassy outside. Okay, plenty of space for plenty of roller coasters. But we won't build a thing until we actually get our steel roller coaster. So we're basically just waiting on this. Actually, I should have built them across that way because that's quite close to the entrance. Too late though. 
I'll build them here, which is quite near the entrance. It's quite flat. I don't know how many trains are on this thing, because this is going to take a long time to get back. It's two trains, eight cars, and it's going to take forever to get back to the original station, because it's huge. Having said that, I think there's only one station. Make it a bit shorter just in case people get angry. When it's uh, absolutely full up. Doesn't make much difference, but it makes a bit of difference. Away. This looks like a ridiculously easy level because there's no trees or anything to get in the way. I'll have this level done within the first year easily. Mark my words. Four dollars, that's a bit of a random price. Now I only just round it up to the nearest five. Ah, yeah, I didn't consider that. If this is one of those rainy levels, then yes, it will be quite difficult. If it's constantly raining. I still think we'll have no issue with this level. Especially once I get the ball course just gone. And hopefully no crashes this time. I don't know why the game kind of like semi freezes when I click on build design. This isn't actually that flat. Hopefully it'll still be okay though. Yeah. See if I can actually fit the other one though. Um, red flare. Hey! It's very cheap. Huh. It's free to get on the ride, but you've got to pay for the picture. Actually, that's normal. I don't know why I left. Go up then.
see the queue's full up now, so kind of needed to do that. I need the kiosk actually, and I've just realised we don't have a. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually have that many shops and stores going, if any. So I need to put all the money into shops and stores because we need more food, and we definitely need a drinks machine, a, a drink stall. So I need drinks and the kiosk mainly. I also need park benches. slopes um was there anything else not really oh yeah toilets See, it's raining again. If it's going to constantly do that through the level, then I see the challenge now. I see what you did there. What's the point in coming to a park? At all? There's one person on this ride.
He doesn't think that much of it, but he keeps going on it. He's not buying the photo either. Hmm. Yeah, I accidentally had the wrong thing and uh, selected. My bad. a bit more popular now. I don't know why the every level starts you out with a loan. Shouldn't all levels pretty much start out with no loan at all? And then if you need it, you take it out. I don't think that's very fair. That they start you off with a huge loan around your neck. <laughs> Some people don't care, they just go straight back on it, whether it's raining or not. Need that kiosk ASAP. Put it there. You could put one on either side, but there's no point doing that. I could put something on the other side of the... Oh, I didn't even realise we had this many water rides. I'll build one of them. In a bit. After I build the... thing. Kiosk. I, do, I need a drinks machine as well, people are going to get thirsty. If you got the souvenir stall early-ish, I could put one opposite the kiosk there, but you don't get them until like really late. You most um, you get the kiosk like really early, so it will be the first like one or two things we discover, I should think. should hope. He can patrol this area actually. And my mouse disconnected again. I don't know why it does that. I could just use the pad on my laptop. Ugh, I don't want to shoot the fucking... What the fudge? Boom. Rest in peace, headphone users. Still not working. What the hell? Unplug it and we plug it back in. Yeah, 
yeah, that just sucks, man. That's what you get for buying cheap mouse. I hope I didn't deafen anyone there. Apologies if I did. Or if you shit your pants. Don't blame me, blame people who made the mouse. Oh shit. I hate when that happens. It's raining again. It's fixed. They got a free extra ride. Oh well, we got the drink stall anyway. Still need the uh... I was kind of hoping for the um, kiosk but it, it's not that. Not yet. At least no one will be thirsty now. We don't really need um, people to have maps yet anyway, because it's only a little tiny park. For now. It's just that it's constantly raining. Build that uh, thing. We might not have enough room for uh, money for it now. Put this up a bit. I only ever put it up to five dollars at a time in case they start complaining. You've got a lot of people constantly coming into the park, though. Right. Let's see. I won't build it too big. Um, put that. Yeah, I see. Kind of strapped for cash right now. I am constantly paying back that loan though.
to come back to it. Okay, hopefully that's the kiosk. After that, after I get the kiosk, it's pretty much just um, putting everything back to... Taking everything back on, because it doesn't really matter at that point. But the kiosk is important, because if you've got people getting lost, they're going to constantly be getting angry at you, so... You do kind of need the maps as soon as possible. We'll get there eventually. Oh shit, I built two. I didn't mean to do that. Just take out a lawn. Forget it. I just realised that you can't actually build the entrance there, but then I realised that's there. Right, um, I could have just put it... well actually, no, I couldn't actually. So it's quite lucky that I had that space. Right. Test it, you don't really need to, but just test it anywhere. $2.50. I don't, uh, I don't think this ever crashes or anything like that, so you don't need to worry about stuff like that. Shit. This is why I don't really like doing this freehand stuff. That's pretty good actually. It's a little one, but it's good. Look at all the sick. What 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 exactly are my uh where are they where are they all? Oh. He's tending to it now. Still. I've got so um I've got pretty much every path covered in um benches. I don't know why people are still throwing up. They've got plenty of places to sit down. I'll build another toilet here, actually.
Bins, bins, bins. Information kiosk. There it is. I'll just build toilets real quick so I don't forget. Right, and get the kiosk. Yeah, right next to the entrance. If they don't pick up a map, that's their problem, not mine. Hmm, looks like this is a bit too expensive actually. Two dollars. Oh no, people want it. Oh well. Yeah, you can have them different colours. Uh so I bought one red, bought two yellow, bought three light green, four purple, five black,
Everybody's happy in this park. I kind of want to watch someone who has like an average expression and watch the happiness level go up. See how effective my ride is. I guess you can't improve on perfection. Everyone's t everyone's too happy. Balloon stall already. That's pretty early. Normally, don't get that until right near the end. Paid back half of that. See, he just walks straight past the uh, map stall, so I can't help you there. We should get one at the actual entrance anyway, I don't see what the point in that is. He'll soon be happy once he goes on this. Is he gonna get on? Yep. I had tons of uh, handy men for I got the award in the last level for having so many. Best staff. I have another one of these as well. And another security guard. Look at these cues now. See how much money these make. Without the steel roller coaster, this game would be so much harder. I don't know, to be honest, it's, it's still pretty easy. But that does help you out money wise. That 
would be awesome if that just like went off the edge there. Whoosh, boom. Is anyone even going on this railroad thing anymore? Yeah. Oh well, no wonder it's free. Come on. Fifty cents at least. Oh yeah, you've got to have it playing the Wild West theme as well. Whatever it is. You can barely even hear it with all the other stuff going on. That's what I mean. In the uh, in the original version of this game, you couldn't put music on a lot of rides, so it was um, it was pretty much just people chatting, and then that that was the only thing you heard. There was nothing really else going on. Whereas you can put music on everything now, so it makes it feel more like a park. What's going on with this? Is it like broken down but not broken down? What's going on? How can you not want to pay for that but pay for this one? It's the same price. That's weird. You got all those people wanting to pay three dollars for this one, but no one wants to pay three dollars for this one. Same thing.
no point even building this because it doesn't make profit. Even at 50 cents, it's too much. Oh well. Not yet. It will go down to 10 cents eventually, though. What's he doing over there? So long as none of the others are doing that. That was weird. Oh, what, why was he... Yeah. 
idiot. Hey, that's the lawn paired off. <clears throat> I said I would do it before the end of the first year, it was still kind of on target. Hopefully I can build up enough money to advertise. But, yeah, it won't be far off if I don't make it. That's a pretty good idea actually, I'll put it on over this and then put some water here. Not yet though, because I can't afford it. Well, yeah, I'll do it later, uh, near two or something. I'm trying to do the score at the moment. Make some more paths because it's a bit, a bit too full of people. Twelve dollars, it's a dirt path, there's nothing even to it. I can't even put it there anyway because there's no, it's going into nothing.
more advertising face up. I need less than 200 more in the next month. All these people. Right, final advertising campaign. Bullshit. I can just afford that. making quite a bit of cash actually. Okay, time to build this swinging chip anyway. And then I'll put water around it. See through um hats. Well oh, you can't do that, can you? I think we wanted to do that in the um last one and I couldn't do it. Costs too much. It'll have to be on over a little puddle for now. almost done the goal within one year. Like I said I could do it and I've done it. Plus no loan. Well we haven't done it yet but we will do it. All these people coming. We'll easily do it. I'm reserving this for a roller coaster. One of mine. I think, uh, do we have that mini roller coaster? No. The one that I made um, in one of the levels, it dips down, so I kind of need to put it here ish, somewhere around here, and then, like, have it dip down there. If it'll even fit there.
One of the advertising campaigns finished, but I'm not going to do it again because we don't really need to do this. It's just a little thing I'm going to do from now on, try and like achieve the objective within the first year. So just to prove that you don't need three years to do these levels at all. So yeah, I've put, pretty much done it at this point. It's in the bag. There, done. Told you. Easily doable within the first year. I've still got a couple of weeks to spare as well. So yeah, that's that. Steel mini roller coaster. I was just talking about that. Let's see if I can build it. I don't. I think this. Well, it will be this one, won't it? No one else is going to name a roller coaster. Roller coaster one. Better than these U O one six three two five whatever's going on though. Yeah, there's no way I can put this. To be honest, it's it's very specific the way I built it. Can we just like click constantly and see if it actually does fit somewhere? I don't think it's going to fit anywhere. Oh, hold on. I got a different message there. It's, it's, yes, there, it'll fit here. Don't move the mouse, just keep it there. Hold it there for $400 more. For a few dollars more, I can build it. I hope the the oh shit I moved oh shit I moved it. I hope the month doesn't end before um because otherwise I'm gonna have to hold this here for quite some time. Keep it there. So it moves. Did I build it? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, it's quite far away from other paths so. though. Yeah, I built this roller coaster, it's awesome. Two fifty, I think we can get away with that. It even remembers what colour it was on the on when I saved it. Right, I'm gonna do a similar path. Well obviously it remembers what colour you do it because it remembers these colours as well. I'm gonna do a path similar to how I have those ones as well. Have it do this and then oh shit, I can't even, can't even afford the path. Will it go under there? No.
water slide. Is that is that an actual ride or is that just an add-on for a roller coaster? I, th I think it's that thing. I'm not building it because in the last level it kept glitching up. Screw that. If it's what I think it is anyway. I think there's only like four water rides. I don't think there's... yeah that's what it is. I thought that's what it was. <clears throat> I think that's it. That's pretty much all of the water rides. But I'm not building that. I could be really cheap and build a little water... One of these down. I'm gonna try it actually. If you put E. Crap though. Nah, there's no way I can do that. You can build the station, but you can't build the entrance and exit underneath there. Yeah, forget that. This was actually considered an indie game back in the day. I think this was like made by that w one person. It, it was obviously, I think it had like more. There was people helping him out, but pretty much it's mostly by like one guy. This is like considered an indie game, but this was back in like the year 2000 or whatever. See, <clears throat> that's the thing, like most indie games coming out nowadays. That's why I don't really. I don't hate them, but I just don't really think it's... Um, I think they get too much praise from people. Like, this this came out back in like 2000. This is considered indie, but it's like, it's original. I mean, yeah, we had the impact before this, but this pretty much improved in every way possible. Over the impact. And it's, it's doing like original stuff. Most indie games coming out nowadays are just... 8 bit, 16 bit copies. And it's, uh, you know, people are like, oh man, you know, the people love indie games just because of them being indie. Which I don't really get that at all, but, you know, I mean, there is some decent original indie games out there, so don't get me wrong, but there is a lot of just cheap crap out there that just doesn't even deserve anyone's time or money, to be honest. But you know, this this is like, this is an indie game pretty much, back from like 2000. So it's, that's that's what I don't, that's what I don't get about indie games nowadays, it's just a bunch of people ripping off other people's work, and people going crazy over them for no reason whatsoever. That's just my two cents on the matter. Sorry.
I know a lot of people are gonna disagree, but that's that, 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 that. It's just my opinion. You gotta admit though, there is a lot of shitty indie games out there. But people buy them regardless, I mean some of them, there's some indie games that are so popular and you wonder why or how they are that popular because there's just nothing original about them. E even if they weren't original, even if they were just like a good game anyway, it's still there isn't, there's very few of them are. <clears throat> I don't know man, I just, I just think indies are just like not that great most of them. Like I say though, there are some decent ones. But most of them are just shovelware basically. They, that's what we used to call, that's what people used to call them like back on the PS2 on in the uh, in the early Wii days. You, you pretty much just called them shovelware. Games that like nobody wanted or you know that had a super low budget and no one actually cared about and they were just trying to make a quick buck off some popular idea or popular name from somebody else. Nowadays they're just called indies because they're by like a, a small developer or the an unknown developer so they're just kind of automatically cool. And yeah, I know there was in uh, there was the term shovelware has pretty much been around since forever. I mean, uh, maybe they weren't called shovelware, but there was there has been a lot of shovelware. Like even on the on the NES, there was a lot of shovelware on that. But back then, you didn't really need to have your game licensed or anything. I'd, well, you you kind of did, but there was a lot of like illegal cartridges about. I still got a lot of space to work with here, and I've pretty much built a lot of stuff. This is a this is pretty uh, easy level to be honest. There's a lot of slopes and whatnot, but in terms of trees, there's no problem. Pretty easy level to be honest. I've, well, pretty much yeah. I've already done the, the objective. Constantly raining though. Hire another mechanic. Don't need to really worry about money at this point. So whatever the wages are. Wages. Um stuff wages. Yeah, it's in the last level it was like $2,400 or something, but I just went crazy hiring absolutely loads of, um, uh, what are they called? Handymen. Do we need a monorail on this level? Um, not yet. Maybe in, maybe when I've built more stuff around here. I'm going to untick the scenery thing because I don't need scenery. Or ride improvements. Ride improvements, I don't think that actually improves. I don't think they're really ride improvements, it should be called ride um, additions or something because it doesn't actually improve the stability or reliability or whatever you want to call it. It just adds like new vehicles and stuff, so it's, it, improvements isn't really the correct term for that, I don't think. That's kind of misleading. 
So yeah, on ticket which I have. I'll just focus on these four. And then of course as so <clears throat> I'll build some more stuff around here. And then I'll build the monorail to go right around the outside. With various stations. Technically we have a this 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 is supposed to be like a transportation system, but they've used it as an actual ride on this level. I'll just leave it though, I'm not gonna do anything to it because it's got um it's got like tunnels and stuff set around for it. It's more of a, like a tour guide y thing, it's like looking at these scenery things and stuff. It's a pretty clever idea actually that they've how they've done this. The only problem is the train moves too slow. I mean, it's going really slow there, and it's not even going up a ramp. When it goes up a ramp, it just... It, yeah, it barely even moves up it. Thrill ride. It probably will be a thrill ride as well, because like I say, there's only I think there's only these four water rides. I actually googled as well. Um, I wasn't actually looking for this information specifically. I was uh, I was looking up um, what the UK names of the parks are because obviously, like I've said, there's a few parks with uh, different names in the UK versus the US version. This is the US version, so... But it's got them all, all the levels listed on Wikipedia, so I was like, I was on the page, and I was like, yeah. So I know, so basically I've, I've named the, um... levels on the YouTube. The, the US name, and then the UK name. So it's like a US slash UK. Whatever. And, um... Scroll down a little bit, and apparently the the last park opens up. It's called Mega Park, and it's basically like a, a sandbox park. You can basically build whatever you want, but you've only got fifty thousand dollars to work with, which I kind of find a bit weird, to be honest, because you're gonna you're basically letting people go wild after finishing the game. You only get this um, park, by the way, when you've actually done all twenty one parks. So there's twenty there's twenty one levels. And as soon as you've done them all, um, the the, uh, the mega park, the park 22, opens up. It like appears on the screen because it, it's not even listed on the menu at this point. So as soon as you've finished all 21 levels, 22 appears. <clears throat> it's called mega park, and um, there's no objective. You just build whatever you want. <clears throat> but like I said, there's no. There's not that much fun. You've got fifty thousand dollars, which is okay, but I would have expected them to give you something like I don't know five million dollars 
to totally create whatever the hell you wanted, but they're not going to do that. So, on the last level, when I start it, I'll have a, there is a, there's a money cheat, so I'll just enter the money cheat, I guess, but you shouldn't really have to do that, to be honest. But the, the way you enter cheats in this game is you have to name people, so, you know, you give them a name, and then after you've called them whatever, the, the that's the cheat activated, so I, I don't know what the money cheat is, though, so I'll have to look that up before I start the level, but, you know, we're talking quite a lot of levels away yet. This is only level 11, I think. So basically we're just around the halfway point now, level 11. So there's 21 levels, so basically that's like 10.5. I don't know, is this level 10? I don't even know what level I'm on. But yeah, I'd say we're around, around or just after the halfway point of this game now. So yeah. Well, I don't know what the cheat is. I'm hoping there's a money cheat. I'm pretty sure there's a money cheat. And I think there's like another cheat as well to make every uh, every guest immediately happy. Like, top happiness level and whatnot. Well, that's, that's no use to us. We just basically want the money. I could technically just do the happiness, well, the happy, actually the happiness cheat doesn't even help you even on, on these levels, but, um, you know, I could I could use the cheats on these levels, I don't think you get penalised for using them, but I'm not going to do that, because that's just cheating and takes the fun out of it. The game's already easy enough as it is. I don't cheat in any game, to be honest. I don't see the point. I never saw the point. You're going to buy a game for $60 and then cheat your way through to the end. What's the point? What's the fun in that? Unless it's Grand Theft Auto. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I'll build the go karts. Find somewhere for it first. This is all flat ground here. I don't really want to go right over there yet. Build it here. The go karts in the last level that I built was awesome. I think people love this no matter what. We always run into the same problem as well. Where the hell? I, I I build the station and then I don't. I never like consider where I'm going to put the entrance and the exit. It normally works itself out though, like two dolls. But you never really seem to have to. Um. See, reduce the price of these because it never loses its value. Yeah, I remember like old games as well used to have like a cheat so you could just immediately see the 
the end credits or whatever. I, I, that's that one just gets me the most. Like, why would you want to do that? I mean, even just regular cheating. You you know, you bought a game. You're just gonna cheat your way through it. What's the point? Like I said, the only game that has like cheats that actually make the game better well you know it's one of the best examples anyway it's Grand Theft Auto but I don't think you can actually finish Grand Theft Auto to 100% after you've cheated I always heard that some some people you always used to say that I was like oh I never cheated anyways I did it I did I cheated after I'd finished the game but not to actually finish the game I remember um Vice City though, that uh, I, I always used to have trouble with the last mission. So, you know, even with cheats, I, was, I sucked at that. I haven't finished on it, um, Vice City since then, though. I've only ever finished it once. But yeah, <clears throat> and a lot of cheats on Grand Theft Auto don't actually help you out the more to just like mess around with like I know the, the, there's the health cheat and the arm cheat and the, the there's like three types of weapons cheat I, I remember the um, GTA 3 one the most because that was the one that I cheat, um, messed around on the most um, I think it's like L1, L2, R1, L2 left right down up, left, right, down, up, or something like that, and then of course you change it so, like, the last two are different, so it's left, right, down, up, left, right, down, down, or something like that, like for the different, uh, weapons, so like, weapon one will be down, up, um, weapon two will be down, down, something like that. That's the only one I re really remember, though, but there's, like, other cool ones, like, um, you can dress up as a pedestrians or pedestrians are rioting and stuff like that it's just like loads of crazy different cheats that don't actually help you it's just um you know cool little things anyway getting back to the what I was originally talking about um I'm gonna need to do that money cheat on this on the last level because fifty thousand dollars is not enough not even close. Uh, anyway, so this is pretty much where. I Put the video because it's. I pretty much make the um, part one and part two on these year three levels especially equal. So, <clears throat> so how many months is that? Eight months plus four months, which is June. So that's that's pretty much it. I'll wait till the end of June just to make it make sure that it is actually equal. You can you kind of know the drill by now if you've watched all the other parts of this. I doubt you have though. I think most people probably got bored of this uh, playthrough by probably level three, if not before then. But at the end of the day, at least I've actually finished the game legitimately it's not really that hard of a game it's just more it actually tests it actually tests your patience more than anything inverted coaster Yeah, I've got loads of room for roll courses. I just, I'm just a bit like uh, nervous when I build them because they always seem to randomly crash on me. And it's not just, it's not typically the roll courses that do that either. I mean, I got this, this thing here crashed on me. Well, it, it crashed once, but 
After that, I kept a close eye on it, and it would have crashed a bunch more times if I didn't. So I'm not even going to touch that for the rest of the game. Unless uh, it's already pre-built into the park. I'm not even going to build it, or consider it. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to mention it. Yeah, that, um, the station for this only really needs to go up to about here. I always try to make it as long as possible to get as many, well, not not for this ride, but more for the, like, the roller coasters and stuff, to get as many trains and cars on as possible. Do we have any wards? I, I don't think we do. We must have a pretty average park. What's this? People are complaining about... This path is disgusting. Oh really? Where? I don't see any sick. There's a bit there. Guess we'll just have to hire a lot more people. I'll dedicate one of them to help this other guy out. Right, you can patrol here. What? What's that guy doing over there again? Yeah, I don't get it. There's another guy over there as well. Come on. What's going on? Are they all somehow falling through the floor or something? Why is there no guests falling through the floor? I think it's just an excuse to not do any work. Next time, the next person I see out there that you fired. No joke. Fired. I ought to build more food stalls actually because I don't have many. I'll build some here. Come on, man. Remember the way I had it pointed in the first place? Benches. This has lost its value. Hmm, there's some people on it, but not many. We're down to 150. See what I mean? Whereas these low coasters over here are still charging 250. It's dropped quite a bit now, though. The go karts never drop. These people are going to be waiting for ages. Hey, look at that guy. He finished so quickly, he's actually walking while the people are coming through on the cart still. <clears throat> I guess they don't care about health and safety in this park. He's just walking while the others are all coming through the station. Like, what the hell? That totally wouldn't be allowed. That blue guy's gonna overtake red. Told you. Blue wins. Oh no, there's another lap. A lap. What? Did the blue guy just go around an extra time? What happened there?
do 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 It's always raining. Guests are commenting your park entrance fee is too cheap. Guests should keep the mouth shut. If you if something's too cheap in real life, you just don't say anything, and then uh, you know if you're gonna say that's too cheap, people are gonna put the price up. Come on, use your brain. Alright, anyway, so that's the uh, end of part one. Stay tuned for part two, and I'll see y'all very soon.